With sundowns wedged clearly on top of the PSL, we decided to pop into Bafana Bastille's mid-season camp in Pulukwani to chat to the captain and the coach about their progress so far and their plans for the rest of the season. I remember when I uh, came in uh, the end of June with uh, my own philosophy about football. The 4-3-3, I wanted to play. And of course, it is not easy when you come uh, in a new country with a totally different culture. He came with a system that really suits us as players. We started jailing as a team, we started getting well, started to understand the system, starting to know exactly what the coaches want. But overall, I think uh, adapting to this new system and looking back after 15 games where we are standing, I think uh, we can be happy so far. We are top of the league. We showed in a lot of games uh, attractive attacking football. We have scored the most goals so far in the league. We have only 12 conceded. Of course, uh, we have to improve a lot and do things better. But that is also uh, where we're working on now here in pre-season. We are preparing us here uh, now in these two weeks in camp. The first important thing for me is to get everybody fit and uh, try to pick up again and to play uh, good football and hopefully the team can perform the same way as they did in, in the first 15 games. My philosophy is that uh, the whole team is attacking. When you start with your goalkeeper who has the ball, that is the moment that you start attacking. And when you start defending, you're starting up front with your strikers. They are the first one who has to defend. And after that, your midfield and uh, your defensive line. And you do it together as a team. So I, I never want to blame only my goalkeeper or only my defenders when we lose or when we concede a goal. It is the whole team. Everybody has to do his work. And of course, if you play in a 4-3-3 and you have ball position and you are attacking and you are controlling and dominating the game, then it is normal that your strikers can play a little bit more up higher because you're controlling the game. You are stronger than your opponent. You decide because of more ball position where you play. I know uh, what we are doing. The players know what I expect from them when we have the ball and when we don't have the ball and that we have to convert in the best possible manner. And then hopefully we can always play uh, attractive football. We play collectively. When we win, it's a goal that has been created by everybody. Everybody was involved, no matter how it is. So now the supporters are starting to realize that. They're starting to enjoy and they're starting to see the vision of the coach and of the team as well. So they start coming in numbers, they're coming back in numbers. That gives the player a big boost because I want that opponents come to our stadium and that they know already it's going to be a, a hard day, not only facing the team, but also a big crowd who is the number 12 behind the team. So that we at home games, we play at least with 12 players. It's going to be very difficult because there are about five, six teams who are competing and chances to, to be champion. Of course, we want to achieve that also, but we have to stand with both feet uh, on the ground and we have to keep working very hard and try to improve as an individual and as a team. This team has to show how strong they are mentally because when you are at the top of the league, everybody likes to beat you. Everybody uh, wants to give 120%. I told the players, I meet players who are committed, who has discipline, are willing to fight for each other in every game and also give every practice 100%. And they have to come to practice motivated and be happy. And uh, I think so far we did a good job, also the players. The response from the whole group is fantastic. And they have to know uh, that it's going to be even more difficult and harder in the second round of the last 15 games. So every game is going to be a final. The nicest part about this whole thing now is we all talk the same language. What we're trying to do now is try and to play good football that brings trophies as well. It's one of those seasons that we need to do well as a team and that we know what is at stake. And then I think Sundowns is going to be a team to beat and um, it's going to be hard for us, but we, I think we're ready. <laughs> 